He's an inventor. It's a little boy who always wanted to build an airplane. That's right, airplane up in the sky. So he built an airplane, but it wouldn't glide. So he built a helicopter, but it only could down. That's right, helicopter. He even built a hot air balloon, but it would not fly. But one day, he found a way. One hockey stick, an electric fan, his mother's umbrella, and an extension cord. He put them all together and made the flying hockey stick. But when he plugged it in, he realized he didn't have enough extension cord to go very far. So he needed to go to every house in the neighborhood. This house, and this house, and this house, and this house. And he asked them all if he could borrow their extension cords. Soon he had enough cords that he could fly all around the world. So he told his mommy, and she loved him very much. She gave him a big kiss on the cheek, and she packed him some sandwiches for the trip. And off he went. He flew up in the sky. He flew as high as the birdies, and he kept on going. There he is with his sandwiches. And he flew up as high as the tall buildings, and he waved to the people in the buildings. See, he's waving. Can you wave? There's someone else. See someone else. And then he flew up as high as the people in the airplanes, Emma. See? And he waved to them as well. He said, hello. But then he noticed off in the distance, oh my goodness, a fire. <gasps> and when he got closer to the fire, he saw it. I know, it was very hot, and the woman was saying, help me, help me, but the firefighters couldn't reach her. I know, what was going to happen? <gasps> she was saved. Barnaby flew close, and she hopped onto his flying hockey stick. I know, it's very dangerous, but they zoomed away, and they were safe. And they flew out over the countryside, and they saw some goats, and then they flew out over the ocean, and they saw some fishes. They even saw a big, fat walrus. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty funny looking, huh? They even saw a giant whale. Oh my goodness. But when they looked closer, they saw, it's a man in the water. Oh my goodness, he's drowning. We better go rescue him. He's in trouble. So they flew closer, and they picked him up, and he flew on the flying hockey stick with them. Then they flew out, and they saw an island in the distance under the bright sun. And when they got closer, do you know what they saw on the island, Emma? Ah, they saw a hunter being chased by lions. Oh my goodness, lions. What do lions say? <laughs> That's right. And when they flew in to rescue him, they realized they're running out of cord. Oh no, here come the lions. The lions are going to eat them. They spilled all their sandwiches onto the, pan, onto the sand. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all the lions. Rawr, rawr. That lion is biting the other one on the tail even. They're pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> then the hunter hopped on board the flying hockey stick and they took off. At the very last second they got away, yay! And the lions were very angry and they had to eat all the sandwiches that fell out on the ground. Yeah, that's what they said. That's right. <laughs> so Barnaby took everyone and he flew them back to town and the old woman said, Thank you for saving me from the fire. I will make you cookies every week. Cookies! That's right. And the sailor said, I will make you the finest ship in a glass bottle you've ever seen. And the hunter said, I will send you a giant moose head. And that's why every week at Barnaby Jones's house, he has delicious cookies and punch. Cookies. And a gorgeous ship in a cookies. bottle. Cookies. And a big, beautiful moose. And that is the end of that story, Emma. Moose.